if people are like, oh my God, I'm broke, it, it pisses me off because mm. I'm like, yo, you haven't read one book in five years. Mm. You haven't completed an actual book. Show me notes like, of a book you've like, studied. How, how am I going to think about getting a book when I, I could barely even find food today? Yeah, here's, let, let me blow your mind, right? So my, the house I live in, Lecky Phase 1, we've got security guards, right? <clears throat> They've all got techno phones. They've all got internet. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have... But they're betting. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no let me even learn. So... <laughs> Naira Bet. Naira Bet. Why am I even shouting out Naira Bet? Bet, <laughs> Bet Naija. Bet Naija. Simba Bet. <laughs> you know, like, the list goes on. But yeah, I'm in my... Like, all I... Because I work remotely. I see these guys outside my window. He's been up. He was up when I was up. Cool. Yeah, you, you got up early. But my man just sits in the outside the gate yeah, all day doing fuck all. Bro, that's a decision. Why didn't you come uh, and meet me? No, no, no. Think about I don't it like think this. That's a decision. No, 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 no. I think it's a decision. I, I think I don't it's think a that's decision. decision. Let, let have, me, let me. Where one... do they know where the, where the, if they didn't have the information to know where the books to read? God is. bless you. Right, we've got some brilliant people in the building, right? Hello. SS here looking cute. Hi. Hello, everyone. Paul's here looking handsome. Yep. Say no to Ibo Man, but yeah. Ibo Man <laughs> with, it. with the money. He's not sharing the money over here. Oh, Maybe he's just rubbing off on me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here to share the money. Yeah, to share the money, right? Share everything. Oh, right, right, right. Share everything. So <laughs> please, please introduce yourself. What do you do? What are you into? Okay, so my name is Paul Chukuma. I am a chief strategist. I'm really just a strategist. Um, I currently run a company called Artlian Communications. And what we do is we help companies of all sizes develop content that drives and engages their customers and drives revenue. That's basically it. Really? So yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. we're a, we're a kind of a design led business consulting firm, and we get into companies and we help you just scale up the amount of content you're doing, scale up the amount of marketing you're doing, and really, um, I can give you one specific example, um, because we work in the B two B space. Mostly SaaS, digital health, finance, uh, emerging technologies like crypto and um, AI, machine learning, all of that. Mm-hmm. So um, we helped a company called Research Bookmark. We're kind of embedded with that company. And they were a user research company, right? And they wanted to build their brand awareness. They wanted to get more users. And what we did was we basically ran core, which is basically a team-based strategy session. So if you've got Three people who open a business, they want to understand their brand statement, who their customers are. We basically run this workshop that's 12 hours and we come out with your brand statement, who your customers are, your business goals, how we're going to develop content and match all of these things together. And we did this for Research Bookmark, did a ton of webinars and basically fast forward, we started in March, fast forward to now. They have partnerships with Pinterest. They've got partnerships with Clavio. They've got associations with Fortune 500 companies. And all of this content, all of this brand awareness is leading them to possibly, fingers crossed, getting $2.5 million in Oh, amazing. Amazing. So it's really understanding that attention is the new oil. Mm. And we're basically helping you mine the attention specifically for you. Mm. Yeah. So like this whole like business consulting industry, right? Yeah. Sometimes, eh, as a startup founder, I just look at it as bullshit, man. Excuse me? It is sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 but seriously, like, you're barely getting, getting together and then somebody's coming with all these swanky ideas and all these things where you haven't really proven the business model, it works. Yeah. So, like, how can you, like, ensure that you're, what you're doing is completely different from the other other guys? Because me, I'm not paying for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, rather, I'll, I'll rather hire in-house and train you to kind of where we want to go. So exactly. why would you be different? So, then? so that's the thing though. Uh, and Shalua said it best. I honestly, I work with B2B companies that have, uh, that have seen some sort of funding. A mm. million dollars up. Right. Um, so they're, they're companies like Craftful, AI Squared, Threadcore that we're looking at. They're as wide as machine learning system to EPR systems, which mm. is basically an entire system to run real estate from builders to construction, et cetera. So it's like, that's my focus. But then again, I'll be honest with you guys, it's 
it's kind of my dream when I reach my monthly rev goal to come and then do stuff that's really more down to earth. But to answer your question is, it's the strategy. I've mm. been in design since I was like 12 years old. I've been lucky and we could go down that story yeah, later. Yeah, no, no. Bring so it, I've, been, bring <laughs> I've been editing videos since I was 12. Oh, wow. My dad was like news anchor news at 10. And oh, really? right now, yeah, yeah. Nobody would know me. For but what channel? Channels. Channels. When Channels oh, was no in way. age, he was like, head Amazing. Anchor. So everybody would know Arthur Chukuma, but literally it's people who oh. had kids who were anywhere from like, Eight to fourteen in two thousand and seven. Mm. Those are people that know my dad, oh, okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. So that we was a, watching a while ago. Yeah. A while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the people that know him, and I worked in his business um, nice. when I finished with high school when I was fifteen. So I've been working in design and and branding and television for mm. a long, long time, even though I'm super young. So what I've realized is I've been doing small, small fifty k, hundred k jobs. I've I've seen that experience, and it's like. You would get a job, they'll pay you some 100k to do a promo for a church or something. And then you have like, you're this doing corrections. 100k for, for a church? Yeah. Wait, church I've are been getting in money. Church. That's how I'm laughing. These churches, yeah. Yeah, they pay, the the most they pay a lot of money. Nigerian churches? Yeah. 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 They make, because they're not taxed as well. So they're getting they, they, like they target make market. A, huh? Yeah. I mean, this is your target market. Yeah, That's actually true, you know. No, no, Solar for churches, yeah. yeah. We, did a, we did a survey when I was last in Nigeria around 2012. I, I was walking around, uh, and this was Ikeja, mm. and we counted more churches than schools. Whoa. Randomly. And I believe there are more ch- churches than schools. Yeah, so I in Nigeria. Believe that. I yeah. believe that. There are more yeah. churches than schools in Nigeria. Yeah. 100%. I would believe you believe that. that. If I you want to count all the churches active mm. and go all the schools, I bet you you probably get more. I, churches I can than. believe that. There's, yeah. a, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of you, churches uh, around. Wow. And, and it's easy, especially that Pentecostal prosperity gospel is very mm. is the yeah, preach. Is, yeah, yeah, and it's addictive to get to here. I mean, yeah. think about Monday to Sunday. You wake up on Monday, hot sun, traffic, go, mm. come back. Next thing, there's no fuel. Next thing you know, there's no money. Mm. Ah, thank God. You go up on Sunday and it's that. It's the opportunity to be around friends. There's that camaraderie to that. That is like, oh, okay, thank God. If not for God, where would I be? That kind of mm. attitude. I don't agree with it, but it's just, it's what sustains Nigerians to, to a very, too much of a degree. Would you yeah. Mm, I find church, you're just paying for a motivational speaker. Yeah, the, true. It's like it's outsourcing yeah. personal development. But not everybody. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, spiritual development, not personal development. Because Honestly, some people in church, they don't go anywhere. You don't, get, you don't <laughs> get any spiritual. Oh my gosh, I can't deal. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> it just what you said. But I not, don't think you get that. I, I get spiritual I development. I think not a lot church. of people are willing to go through the pain, right? That's 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 how I see it. Mm. The pain of. Of, of the just grind. everything, of the grind. Okay, of the grind. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so shout out, I to, was, shout out to Didi. Yeah, on nobody verse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> over the past, like, because I was working, I was, I was working a job, and over the past six months, I don't know, man. Like, I did this course called the Iron Mind course. I think this was like mm-hmm. six months ago, nice. and it basically teaches you that um, you need to have yourself as an enemy. So then I asked myself the question, and this was a Jordan Peterson-esque type question, mm. is if for the past 10 years you did everything you were supposed to do, where you where would you be now? Mm. Use that question to develop this person that is you. Mm. Bro, I would, I, would, I would be at least 75 ki- kilos of just pure fucking muscle, bro. Yeah. If, I, if, I, if for the past 10 <laughs> years say, I had yeah. to accept that, that fact, <laughs> yeah. I would be ripped. And I was like, <laughs> shit, like if I was doing what I was supposed to do, there was a version of me that every time I slacked in uni, he went to class. Mm. Every time I was taking a little bit of the ganja, he wasn't. Mm-hmm. Mm. Every time I skipped that course, he studied it, bro. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm. And I envisioned that person. It took me like a month. Everything about this person. Mm. What does he drive? Right? Mm-hmm. He drives a 2022 CHR because mm. he's efficient. It's Toyota. He doesn't mm. have to fix it. And he's got mm. a Mustang that he only drives on the weekend. Like, mm. I developed the idea of this person and now this fucking asshole haunts me, She has bro. a Mercedes. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? AMG. AMG. You know what I'm saying? Omar, that Aston, Aston Martin DBX 707. Fastest Ooh, SUV in the world. Sexy as hell. Nice so car. yeah, she has that on the side. So <laughs> yeah, she drives that one the on the weekends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I developed this this enemy and that's kind of the only person that I'm focused on defeating. Mm. So I'm very cheerful. I'm very happy. I'm always smiling. And then it was like, 
it got to a point with the job, I just realized that you give so much to work mm. that you get to a point where you don't even have time to learn, which is an issue, right? You're now only earning. And that's what I would tell everyone. If you realize you get to a point where you are just earning, mm. you need to sit down and look at your skill tree and look at, okay, what are the skills that I have and how do I skill up to get to where I need to be? Yeah. Because honestly, I look at this person in my mind and I'm on Zillow and I'm looking at houses, right? My mom sends me this $1.8 million house. Mm. Fucking ridiculous. It's mm. like three acres. Mm. It's eight bedroom, 12 bathrooms. What state? Um, it's Maryland. Maryland, yeah. Owens Hill, mm. right? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm looking at it and she's like, yo, in three years, if you flip enough real estate, mm. you can have all the mortgage of like 20 properties paying for this mortgage. Mm. And it's this game that you can play. And I'm like, bro, like if I wanted to live in this house, there's a skill gap. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, that you're not. You're yeah, you need not, to close. Yeah, and then yeah, I look yeah, at I everyone it. around me that says they want to make money, and I say, honestly, guys, what's the last time you read a book? Mm. Like in the past five years, how many books have you completed? Have you read, like, like, honestly, and I'm looking at myself like, yeah. big facts. I need to finish a book this month, yeah. <laughs> like every month. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's the like the first step. And I think not everyone is willing to go through the pain. Even with cold calling, I used to do cold calls, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you'd have to do 200 a day to really learn how to do it. Mm. I wasn't the only one in the team. I've got people in the team doing 50. Mm. Do you, how do you want to beat me if you were never like willing Energy. to do the 200? Energy. Right? Mm -hmm. And I just think there's not, it's just, it's not clear. So, I love what you're saying. Yeah. Because, you know, I think I can relate. I know both of us are very kind of dogged in how we work and things. But one thing I've learned in my experience now, and it's, it's quite cl cliche, um, it's not just about the hard work, it's about working smart. Yeah. So, for example, I know that sometimes I love reading books, but the time is hard to find. So yeah. now I just use audio books uh -huh. or there's this amazing website. You know, I, I showed you that like, Tutor AI. Yeah. Um, TutorAI.me is fantastic. What is it called? Tutor, Tutor AI. You know, Tutor I have an obsessive yeah. AI tools oh, yeah, yeah. now. So one of the top ones now is Tutor AI. You put in the topic you want to learn. So I put in real estate. It made five five courses for me, modules to go through. It teaches me. I can talk back to it to ask more yeah. questions. It already creates the quiz for me. So I was reading an 800 um, page textbooks, real estate, finance and investment. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, okay, it's, this saves me time. So at least in the meantime, I'll do it there. So mm. there's a way to like work smarter in yeah. the grind. Um, There was a book I was reading, The Art of Self-Discipline as well. Well, and it talks about that. It goes uh, to to be successful. You need the visual stimulation. You need to like mm -hmm. have pictures, like the whole vision board of what mm -hmm. you want. Mm -hmm. You need to have role models close to you and not close to you. Mm -hmm. So, do you have anyone in your life? Say the things that you like about them and the things that you don't like about them as well. So, and then you also need to have time for self development. It talks about mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, I think most people, entertainment. I think we put too much value on entertainment these days. Yes. It's a distraction. I agree. It's a huge, yeah. you know, the, the, the influx of social media as yeah. well. I think that's also kind of affected a lot of things. Yeah. It's it's um, it's really changed everything. Yeah. Because it's a battle. How do I explain this, right? you you don't know yourself as much as Instagram knows you. That Instagram is just got the your truth. Beep. It shows, yeah, it, like, it shows yeah. me GLSs like, and GLEs every two yeah, posts. You can't win. Like you yeah. have to take the time to set up Instagram in a way where it feeds you what you want, and then you can't fail. Yes, right? Because yes. how many times <laughs> I live this? Way. I love you, it. Go, you. You got to train the algorithm. Yeah. That's, you. What, that's what I've done. Yeah, I've trained yeah. the algorithm to show me business, graphic mm. design, motion mm -hmm. design, mm -hmm. and then one day you see a thing and you just double click. <laughs> oh, and there's always a you're thing. messed there's up. There's always a thing. You messed up. There's then always it's, a thing. Say no to Nigerian men. Then, then that is it. It's just uh, the, now your whole page is just full of things. <laughs> <laughs> you were, and you're like, bro, it was one. So like down is so much easier than up. <laughs> down because you can just spend the next two hours. I don't, you just catch yourself no, like, bro, I've been scrolling. This no, thing, though, but, you know, but you know these things, right? It's actually like designed on on kind of human predictability. So basically, right? There's don't there's been research done that men would kind of be naturally attracted to certain things and would actually um subconsciously respond to certain things right yeah. mm. so they'll feed those things in front of you like, mm. like cars <laughs> nice beautiful women all these things that like mm -hmm. you naturally respond to so before you know it, you've already liked one by mistake subconsciously <laughs> right <laughs> this is me trying to justify cheating to my <laughs> 
<laughs> he was spending five seconds looking at you there, like impression. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Put more, and then they'll, they'll start feeding you more. So, so yeah, that the whole, the whole the app whole... is just just delete the thing. No, and, you, you know what they're doing? They literally just it's like a oil rig, and it's mining people's time on the app to sell mm. ads. Yeah, that's it's that simple. But you can use apps. I use Stay Focused, and and Stay Focused. Mm. Um, I put thirty minutes for Instagram. It'll lock you out. Yeah, yeah. and I had you could put a message, mm. and so on that message would be like. Um, go and do this or go and do that go and find something else to do like get off Instagram so you, if you because I feel like it goes in waves sometimes you literally are so busy but sometimes you do end up scrolling mm. an hour to, when you see I don't know if your phone does this when you see the amount of hours you spend on some of these apps it's crazy it's great. Yeah, when, when I look at this the screen time is something I look at every day yeah time, every what, day yeah time, what, I was like 8 to 12 hours on one app <laughs> I'm like the day is 24 hours if I'm spending 8 hours on an app if you, like if you look at the pickups it's yeah. another thing you should look at yeah. how many times how many you times pick up you your pick phone up? Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? you should do it side by side yeah, yeah. right you think oh I was working from 4 to 5 but that message came in at 4.15 and you you were on your phone from 4.15 to like 4.20 yeah. and then you dropped it and then it's, it stacks up <laughs> yeah. throughout the day no it, it's crazy and I, I, I mean and that's why I went over to Reddit I'm mm-hmm. a big advocate of Reddit because Reddit is easier to create things that benefit your mind. Mm-hmm. I've never gone on Reddit and not learned something because I'm following mm-hmm. intellectual stuff. Yeah. I'm following yeah, yeah, yeah. so many like topics. Reddit is dope. Yeah, whereas Instagram, it's like, it's you know, dope. you're just watching other people's lives, you know, and rather than developing your own life. So it's, it's great if you've got money to go on Instagram. Yeah. So half of the time you're in you're in Lagos, half the time you're in London or somewhere else, right? Um, America, you say. Yeah, but do you guys not think that the US is kind of like Sodom and Gomorrah? I say it. Oh my god! What about Lagos? I say that. What about Lagos? I Lagos, love that you said that. I Lagos say that. too is like that. I mean, yeah, Lagos and America. I call them Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, but, literally. But, the but Lagos is there. like, you know, if I was speeding in Lagos and I stopped, I could drop. You understand what I'm saying? I get your point. I get your point. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's why most people are in Lagos. Like, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord but anyways, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> right? <laughs> it, 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 but it's the US, right? But, but it's still Sodom and, uh, and Gomorrah. It's yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. Is, Lagos is, is horrible. Lagos and America, I literally call them Sodom and Gomorrah. But, it, but, if, yeah. but the issue is like, okay, America has its like weirdness. Mm. That there's, there's different places that, and have like different... Things that they're used to, right? Mm-hmm, and you, mm-hmm. you, you probably even have more knowledge on it because I've only been to America twice. But I definitely know like there's places that are completely different cultures to other areas, mm, and you yes. might be able to find more traditional values there, yes, or whatever it is. So it's kind of just put even, it in a box a bit. Yeah, I haven't been to the US yet, personally. Okay, I've only been to England. Okay. Sometimes I miss England, but then sometimes I'm like, fuck, you know. Really? <laughs> yeah, so, so like, what, 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 do you, what do you miss about England, though? Like, if you're, as, as someone living in Lagos now, what do you miss yeah. about England? Um, Nothing. I was just, it was just a lot easier to be alone in England. I know that doesn't make sense, but... Because you're it, introverted. Yeah. yeah. So, it, like, I could, I could, it could be like 7 p.m. And I lived around Kent. So I could just walk mm. around the strand and there's not that many human beings. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? There's some things you could do in England. There's just places where you could just take a walk in a park, Amherst or somewhere. Mm. There's just not that many people. Sometimes you're in Hyde Park, mm. not that many people. Mm. It's just nice for me personally. Yeah, Lagos, I, I get where that are you going to go? No, you can't. You have to where see. you won't go? Be heads mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Don't worry. There's bare places. I've my places. <laughs> I'm actually so See, right. I don't even know where they share their places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Places. Yeah, I tell him. To keep your sanity in this place. You need to have your own places. I've got my coded spots. Yeah, I've got my coded spots. So, like, that's one thing I miss. In Lagos, it's like, it's bad expensive. You have to be like, for men, it's very expensive. Yeah, you have to be rich to be alone. To be a little, a little bit, a little bit, I think. Yeah. Or, or you're willing to walk around around one a.m. or two a.m. or something. Even then, there's mm. there's like movement everywhere. Mm. Um, no much chicken admiralty way on Friday one a.m. two a.m. People everywhere is like like it's just full. Mm. Mm. That's what I feel about Lagos. I think that you get in England. There's really nothing else, really. Mm. Honestly. So so how's how have you been dealing with the the ladies in Lagos? <laughs> Um, because they're probably going to be on your neck. Yeah, as, like I've seen the drip. <laughs> oh, exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I tried to be a gentleman. I I don't think it's possible to attract any woman that's in the upper echelons of beauty without necessarily being a gentleman. But at really, the same time, yeah, I don't think it's possible hmm. to actually. I don't think you can be mean and be like not open the door and you know. 
you know, not yeah, I've never been a gentleman. It's, just it's, keep it's the attention. Standard, though. Yeah, like after some level. guys are just mean. I've met some guys that are just like mean, and it's just not who I am. Like, yeah. And the other thing is, I think there's there's five things that women like. Like, if you have these five things, and they're all F's, I think maybe four. Okay. But I have to go through them and. No brokies allowed. But let's go through the five. <laughs> I love it. Like, <laughs> shout out to Mr. Tate. Yeah, 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 I'm locked up in the penitentiary <laughs> right now. <laughs> shout out to free, free <laughs> Tate. <Free tape. laughs> <laughs> so if you have fun, fitness, if you've got your finance in order, if you have free time, and if you can give the D, which is also, you know. Endowed. Well, mm, endowed yeah. D. But, yeah. endowed. Yeah, that's yeah. very important. If you very have these important. five things, <laughs> You're good. You you I like that. Fine. I can't but argue with that. Some guys have fun and free time, but mm. they don't have finance, right? Mm. Some guys, most guys have fitness, to be honest, just because m- most guys are active, mm. right? It's very hard. hard Nigerian to men. Yeah. There's like pregnancy obese, bellies up and down this Lagos. But like, young, I had to let one active, go for that reason. The, <laughs> <was irritating. laughs> the belly was irritating my spirit. <laughs> That's no. actually the reason why I had to let that nigga go. <laughs> you know, all these big chiefs, maybe, but the young Nah, men, but the guys who've got the money in Lagos have big they bellies. They've got bellies, they've got bellies, bruv. So why are you going to do go, that? I didn't go over 31, 32. They they've have got, the they've got bellies, bruv. They don't bro. have the fitness. They don't, have got the, they don't got the fitness here, fam. They're like food But they actually. feel like, hey, finance, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. exactly. They think finance tick. You know, yeah, even it. even Anything else, it doesn't matter. even the well endowed um, aspects yeah, don't yeah. even think about that too. Very, really? yeah, yeah. Very and me and my girl talk about this all the time. I I tell her that I don't think there's any love anymore. There's only clout. Right? Well, at the moment in at life, moment. in 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 Lagos, in Lagos, there is no like. No, there's no love here, but it's transactional. No it's yeah, yeah, it's just clout, and maybe that's good. Maybe that's not good. I don't know. Actually, Honestly. that's true because I need out sit out, so I'm not gonna say I, that. I no, 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 no. <laughs> no somebody was trying think... to sell themselves to me, but they were selling clout. They were not selling themselves. Mm. And I was like, I'm kind that's of the it. opposite. Mm. I, I don't buy clout because like that doesn't mean to me mm. much to me. But like, who are you as a person? I like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, but so that's 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 what I see happening is there's a lot of clout chasing. Like, think about think about the heroes, the female heroes right now. Right. The female heroes. Not to name drop in mm. a negative way. Mm. Well, we look at Toke Makiwa, right? Mm. Tiwa Savage, Chef Shi. Are who they else? are they female heroes? Yeah, yeah. Who are that? Oh, they're young... not they're not the female heroes that we think about. No, no, no. <laughs> like if you look at the I'll young ladies in now. Lagos, right? Yeah. Anybody from sixteen to twenty four, who are they looking up oh, to? Okay, oh, okay, the young okay. girls. Yeah, okay. yeah, I get it. I get it. The young yeah. girls. Yeah, but that's the, the issue is but that's my issue though. You know, Nigerians like my friend was telling me the other day, he said, anything that makes sense. I was complaining about that song, you know, the precious get to worse. Like, yeah. I was I was like, more could have been done to make that song even better. It's quite lazy. Yeah. It's like fam, Nigerians like lazy easy things. It's the lazy easy. songs that they like. They don't want things that make sense. Yeah. And that's why Big Brother Nigeria and things like that yeah. are so popular. Wait, it's let me, because let me just go a shameless plug. You should have gone to Pam. Yeah, should have gone to Pam Africa. <laughs> you should have gone to Pam. <laughs> Pam I Africa. saw that too. I was com. like, oh shit, that is nice. They that's what I do. That for, for companies like Pam, if they knew me, they could affordably get more people to know about Pam. Trust me. I was like, this is dope. Yeah, we're talking about Lagos. Lagos yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, right now, I feel like I, I have the answer and I know the truth. Wow. So in that sense, I'm not stressed out. Mm. I know the truth. So, so, and so, I've been poisoned. Yeah. So let's say, for example, right now, your, yeah. your business, right? Would mm-hmm. you think that... I mean, why do you want to do it in Nigeria? Why don't you go to other countries that are a little bit more, have more structure? Mm. Why, why Nigeria? Because my business is all people. It's low capital expense. It only requires laptop and internet to actually do, and your mind. Mm. Um, and then it's all people. So if I can get the talent here, there's a massive, like, like I'll give you an example. I got a designer here, talented guy, right? All I ever did was point him in the direction to my resources. So I've been in the game for a while. I have mm. access to communities that are that I joined when I was 15, 16, mm. where everyone downloads tutorials and they buy it. Say it's a thousand dollar tutorial from Motion Design School. He buys it. Mm. He downloads the video and shares with this community. Mm. So I have access to knowledge, right? So I have this big library library of knowledge. I call it the well mm. in my mega folder. Nice. And I meet designers because I'm a designer. And I say, hey, 
have you learned X, Y, Z? They mm. say, no, I've just been learning on YouTube. I'm like, really? You're really, you've done this on YouTube? Just yeah. on YouTube, yeah. Like, Imagine cool. if you get to the world. Exactly. Kind of thing, yeah. Come into the world. They see the world. Lose their minds, right? Mm. Like, all right, here's templates, here's structures, here's Love deliverables. This. Join the Asana, join the Notion, whatever mm. we're using for project management at the time. And they join in and they start learning. Next thing they know, they're excited. They're designers. Mm. So they come reach out to me and I give, I ask them like, yo, what would you like to get paid? And they'll tell mm. me what they would like to get paid. Mm. Nothing ridiculous. Right? Talent arbitrage. Yeah. Nothing yep. ridiculous. Mm. I take that same graphic designer. That graphic designer doesn't know how to reach out and prospect in the European and um, North American, mm. let's just call it marketplaces, right? Mm. I know how to do that. Mm -hmm. I go reach out to those marketplaces, say, hey, I've got design for you. I'm an American company registered in Maryland, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. I'm American. Mm. But I'm remote. Mm. And I've got people in South Africa. I've got people in Kenya. I've mm. got people in Nigeria. I've got people in Ghana. What's up? I can do this design for you. I'll charge you 10% less than even of the quality. They'll be like, sure thing. I'll take it. Mm. Right? So the, the 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 amount of money you can make in that exchange is probably 10x, yeah. 12x, 15x. Reminds me of a business called Remotely. One of my friends mm. actually founded in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. They, um, what they do, outsource talent. Yeah. But I manage the well, talent. Well, you manage talent, yeah. yeah but yeah. they just outsource talent. And they, I think they train and outsource talent. But mm. they kind of do remote work. Mm. And it, yeah, there's this I online said, mentor yeah. that says, Alex Hormozzi, shout out Alex Hormozzi. He says the difference between 1 million and 10 million is just the ability to manage a team of eight players. Mm. So that's the only skill I'm really, like I want to learn. Is how do you manage 10 people that are all geniuses? Mm. <laughs> you manage them, keep them happy. You would be rich if you figure out how to do the that. The answer is to be a genius, bro. <laughs> yeah. A genius does not respect you if you're not a genius. I'm telling you. Well, it, was, it was surprise you. All these guys that are leading the geniuses are not quite geniuses themselves. No, but you have to be genius in management. Yeah, exactly. And emotional intelligence. There's, yeah, there's different forms. I have to say, there's different, there's different forms, forms of intelligence. Yeah, yeah. There's different forms of intelligence. Some people have like high EQ. It's, mm. it's, a, it's a form of intelligence. Being able to get out of what you need out of people. I'm jealous of those people. Yeah. But you know, I always preach about personality and I mm. always say the reason why I study personality science a lot is because once you know someone's personality, it then becomes very easy to get what you want out of them. Mm, yeah. For example, if you know somebody is like an F, I always give this example. If somebody is an F on the My Briggs personality test compared to someone that's a T, when you speak to the F, you give them, oh, okay, you know what, you did try, but I think you can do better because XXX. If you're speaking to a T, you tell them, look, this shit was terrible because mm. of this. You you get what you want out of them because you respond. Whereas if you speak to somebody that's like a T and you're soft and soft, they'll just run run you over. They're, They're not over, really yeah. gonna. So mm. you need to kind of like understand people's personalities um in your team, and that's how you get mm -hmm. the best. That's how you motivate them. You can't do one size fits all, mm -hmm. and I think that's the key with yeah. managing yeah. like those A stars. Size. Yeah, you have to agree that I I don't even want to hire people with with an F, right? I'm literally just Same. T. Same. Even the I'm new like, guy that I want to hire, SDR, I told, like, like I took oh. Shalua's advice. So I did the Excel Masters yeah. thing and she revealed that some there are many holes in my business. <laughs> so one of the holes I wanted to uh, plug was hiring. Mm. The new SDR I'm hiring, I told him, take the left brain, right brain exercise, take the mm. 16 personality test. Yeah. He came back as the debater. So it's INTP. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <see."> like, <laughs> let's move on. Yeah. 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 I've, I've realized working with the Fs now that there's that disconnect. Mm. So know? basically, right, I, I mean, I just, I do these things of like, um, how can I explain it? Like, I naturally think I can expect good people, mm. right? And I think that's probably one of my biggest strengths. But then, I want to have a system that mm. can allow me to do that because that's not efficient going forward. I'm not going to hire, I'm not going to be in a higher room for every member of staff that comes and joins the company, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, these personalities, is there, is there like, I know some people, some companies charge for this shit and I don't know if it's true or if it actually works. But is there like something like a free tool out there that I can use to like improve my hiring? Yes, 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 yes. They're called ATS systems. So ATS application it. tracking systems. Mm. It's Bullhorn, Hunter. Those two are like free. Gem. Mm. I don't even know if Gem has a free trial, but you can get on Gem. Mm. So these these systems, you 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 say I, I need XYZ keyword, 300 people apply, it just clears like 200 or something. Gives you the people that match your requirements, mm. gives you the resumes. What I would recommend people to add now is take that extra step to 
ask people to put a video resume on their cover letter yes. and do the tests. Mm. So they give you left brain, right yeah. brain test. They give you their personalities test. They give you a video resume, cover letter, and then a resume. But the question is like, let me tell you for me, right? Yeah. I ain't no way if I see that in a company application, I'm doing that. Good. Good. That's, that's, right? that's the so point. So that's now, that's as the a person, point. you're not losing me yeah, no, as that's a personality. The, that's, the that's, that's the point. It's a disqualifier. It's yeah. like... Um, yeah, but you're disqual- you can disqualify talent. There's talent people, there's yeah, people yeah. that are not going to do certain things, but they're yeah, good at other things. But that's exactly. fine. But for a specific role, right? If I need an intensive role like sales development, mm. I do want the people who wouldn't do that yeah. to not apply. Yeah. Because making 200 calls a day is not easy. So if you're not going to apply, thank God. Mm-hmm. You should probably not be an SDR. Right. But if I was looking for even a graphic that designer should be able to do that, it's like, how much do you want want the job or that's exactly what I was about to say. How hungry yeah. are you? If you're not that hungry, definitely my team might not be the right place because we're not there yet. You know, I'm mm. you're like my mind is I wouldn't relax until I'm seeing hundred to hundred and fifty profit a month, mm. like revenue. That's twenty to fifty K a week. So if you're in the team. And you don't have that mindset and you're thinking, we don't have a thousand employees. Mm. This isn't, you know what I'm coming from? Big, this big isn't like, you can hide and, got, and yeah, you can there's no room for no um, company politics. Mm. There's no, we're not at a thousand employees. Nobody's giving us $300 million funding. We can't do that right now. Mm. So I need people to show up, kill themselves to work and then learn mm. the skill. One you know? of my friends um, asked his staff to download the app that shows how much they're, they're working. Yeah. One, one person had eight minutes of work time. <laughs> <laughs> like, this bastard just eight minutes of work time. <laughs> that's the other thing too. Like so, this remote working, like it, it, it's good, but you have to arm yourself as a founder because otherwise oh. you're losing this sunk cost. Yeah. Hiring people that, yeah. Are yeah, that are not productive is going to kill your business. Mm. So yeah, it's important to know yeah. the tools available to you. Yeah. yeah, and also like your project management methodology shouldn't have any rooms for people not to work. Exactly. Yeah. I just give them, like I hate micromanaging. Yes. So I'm like, okay, mm. we have a timeline. Facts. You can all see the notion, you can all see your tasks. Go do your tasks. Definitely. Comment on the task. Reach out to me if you need anything from me. The higher the level, obviously, you're going to reach out to your manager and sort that out. Don't hit me up unless you have to. And I'm my door's always open, right? So then it's one week. We have a stand-up every day. A stand-up is um, something in Scrum mm-hmm. where everyone shows up. If three of us work together, we just do a stand-up, quick report. Hey, yesterday I worked on fixing the light. I fixed some batteries in the camera. Today I'm doing this and that. This is the impediment I'm facing. There's no light right now. I'm, I'm say, having yeah. NEPA issues, yeah. but this is how I want to solve it. Uh, I, don't right? I was about to ask issues. about that, actually. How yeah. are you dealing with the Nigerian factor yeah, Nigerian hiring factor, staff, yeah. especially remotely? Because, yeah, a lot of them, it's annoying to hear as a business owner, but, yeah, yeah sometimes they do. The gen, they do have no. Your gen right. gets stolen sometimes. Yeah. So I have to <laughs> 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 so you think I took my camera right <laughs> away? <now. laughs> they took his gen, so, yeah. But yeah, so, so how do you deal with that? I give them, and this is something I learned from Olatos' table. Um, the guy is like a mentor to me. I worked with him for a while, and he gives them an allowance of like a hundred dollar, light and internet, no excuse. Mm. That's 70k a month To spend on light and internet Most of the time You don't spend that much And then there are Battery packs That mm. are $150 maybe So like 70 to 130k mm-hmm. Invest in a battery pack You're the one working right Invest in a battery pack Save up your light And electric allowance And invest in a battery pack A battery pack Would give you 8 hours of work Because if you charge it With 2 hours 3 hours of NEPA plug it in, it will charge your laptop multiple times. Mm. That's another solution. Mm. And then there's a hundred dollars light and internet allowance. Okay. Non-negotiable. Yeah. Right. Nice. So when you're onboarding, you're agreeing to these things. It's very hard, hard not to work. Because then when we created the culture, you stand that's that's not the word. You stick out like a sore thumb. Mm. I just had a genius idea. What was it? So that hundred dollar allowance can come to Pam, you know? 
we think about that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, anyways, but, yeah, for yeah, just, yeah, 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 like yeah. Just, just give them something that they can be, yeah, and yeah. the get company just pays a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's another yeah. that's another genius thing you can think about, mm-hmm. and you get to keep the solar for yourself. Yeah, but maybe the company, if we fire the person like three months back, God back. damn it, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's as equal as investing in laptops. Yeah, like, like... <laughs> me, one thing you know, in my company, one thing I do is like, until you pass probation, you don't get a laptop. Yeah, so. Yeah. I want to see if you can be resourceful with a laptop. Maybe either borrow a laptop or whatever it is. Do some work. And I say, oh, wow, this person actually like... Yeah, it's yeah, not like, okay, yeah. I didn't get anything. I'm just going to just... I, I'm not going to do anything. Out. That's, or oh, that's like... Yeah. What, entitlement. They'll be running, they'll be running yeah. off with laptops. Yeah. They'll be running off with the no, laptops. No, the one... I, 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 learned, I learned the hard yeah. way. I, you, I learned the hard oh, way. I haven't seen you before, yeah? <laughs> the guy it's, told me got robbed in our bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I said, really? Okay, no problem. Your salary is going to be half this year, this month. And also, you're not going to come back. <laughs> you better stay with the robbers in that picture. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, that's an awesome story. What do you want to do? I can't run to that picture. <laughs> what, what, what part of my mind was trying to do a whole hey, Charlotte, London thinking? I was like, nah, this has been Nigerian thinking. Your salary is half this month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, it's it's actually I've heard actually that it's some people's hustle. Yeah. yeah, that they get a job, get the company laptop, and bounce because obviously the value of the laptop is more probably like eight months of their salary. Mm. Yeah, you know, six seven months of their salary. We don't so. do the laptop. Like that's nice of you, but we don't do the laptop thing. If you, if you don't have a laptop, hey, you don't qualify. Mm. So we do the light allowance, but the laptop, no, 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 no. Maybe because of that, but also because. I don't want I don't want you to feel like you you're entitled to a laptop because you're starting a job. But it's a tough it's a tough issue because of um the sensitivity of a company's documents and mm, files. True. And that's where I kind of I'm still stuck yeah. because you business owners are exposing themselves and their IP to anybody that comes to work for mm. them. You know, mm-hmm. because they've got your documents on their personal computer. Yeah. Again, it's processes. And I want to shout out to Vivian who made me because I ha- I'm i a creative person. Mm. So I, I have a very, I'll do it one by one, you know, reprioritize and readjust every week, then one by one. But she was like, no, you, you should have an agile methodology to what you do. So you don't access files on your laptop. Everything is on Google Drives. And there is hier- like a hier- hierarchy of permissions, mm. right? So company files, directors only, right? like interview files, mm. project files. I need to see the schedule, the receipts, right? And then there's uh, managers. They have files that they have access mm. to and then their permissions kind of yeah. taper off. At, we, at I, we, do that. we do that. And yeah. then everybody but in the still team... Not, there's, still like, no. there's still like sensitive product, especially as a, as a startup, yeah, yeah. right? There's no way you can, you can categorically like not allow people to see certain files because like they're mm-hmm. working on multiple different things at a time and they mm-hmm. need access to certain things mm-hmm. and it can slow you down Maybe, as a startup. Yeah, so you got to think about like, okay, I'd, in, first of all, in, in the employment contract, everybody just signs this, there's a, a, a confidentiality agreement. You, have to. Like, you, you have, have to. That, it just, that we just take very seriously. Yeah, you yeah, have right? to. Yeah. So that's kind of the most And a non-compete. Non-compete yeah. as well, yeah. That's the most, the, the most protective way for us at the see. moment. Yeah. But then again, I'm always willing to understand if there's other ways of yeah, doing I that because understand we work that. on really very high sensitive no, stuff. No, but yeah, they, but to reply back to what Paul just said, I understand that. But for example, like my whole life is on Excel. I hate using Google Sheets. It's mm. a pain and like literally. To well, isn't Microsoft it the same thing? So one three, to have so yeah. so everybody just accesses Every, file on yeah, one drive. Choose an ecosystem. Um, yeah, yeah. As and just like deal with the issues that come with your ecosystem. Like because that's the only Google way. Google Meets is messed up. Because if I have 50 people in the company, we're all paying $6 for their email. For me to activate meeting recording, I have to upgrade everyone to $12. Wow. That's why we use Zoom. Yeah. (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? Like each ecosystem has their ick and you just have to figure out what works for you. But you're right. Maybe I do have a bias because I am in a project-based type of business. Mm. Right? Mm. So in reality, if you show up to work for me, you have what you need to do. You have exactly what you like. There's a definition of done on each task. So there's mm. what is defined as done, mm. step by step, laid out for you. So just mm. do it. 
Okay. You know? Yeah. So no, it's, no, it's, 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 super t- it's easy tough. I've to... noticed this with all the like the clients I've worked with. I always just have that kind of underlying feeling of mm, it's just so risky having your documents just on anybody's yeah, yeah, file yeah. and computer and stuff. But uh, it's also like we're in a country where they niggas will literally run off of your laptop. Yeah. So you have to pick yeah. like you Brando, know, pick yeah. your poison. At, at the end of the day, you, you just gotta pray that you hire decent people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 because like if you hire a really terrible person, like that's why like. Until you, until you get to until you pass probation, your access is very limited, mm. and uh, and then maybe after then, there's. there's I'm betting. Of, uh, I'm betting on the intrinsic laziness of everyone. Really. Intrinsic laziness, right? Yeah, yeah because I, I like, agree. Yeah. do you know how much stuff is free online? Yeah, like, nobody does shit. Days, yeah. Nobody does anything. So I'm betting on like if there was a guy like me on the team, I'll be like, yeah, hide, hide my files from them. Like, yeah, but also, yeah. No, but <laughs> yeah, also like me. it also it also depends on the difficulty me. of your business. It also depends on the difficulty of your business. Yeah. Like that's why I like I like Trust operating me. businesses that are very difficult. Mm. Because, exactly. Like one person cannot just like take something and run away and then you, you achieve nothing. Like if you mm-hmm. was. We're so the powerful is Nigeria by now, right? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of complexity that goes around. So, like, yeah, you can, but like, you will need probably to probably just like end up nowhere. Mm. So, uh, another thing we should talk about, and we spoke about it in our in our consultation meeting, is working with friends. What do you you sometimes not doing that anymore? Yes, because so what? Why do you think that? Because they see you as friends. I think you can do like project work with a friend, mm. like if you'd be will. If you would be willing to work for that person, yeah, sincerely, then they should work for you. you. You'd be cool, right? But if you know you will not work for this person and they're your friend, you should probably not, not hire them. I fire very quickly and I hire slow, mm. right? So I fired all my friends that I'm working <laughs> with. This guy, this, 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 this guy looks like he just sits us and watch all the YouTube videos about a different issue. <laughs> like, yeah. ah, fire quickly, hire slow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and, well, it's a good and strategy, then, you know? <laughs> it's a good it's strategy. Like, for you to get hired is a long thing. It's a long you, thing. This, I'm very careful. But if I hire you, I hired somebody, this is their week three, they haven't given me my numbers yet. They're leaving. This is Monday. Mm. Tuesday, there's, they're gone. There's no time. There's no, bro. There's no time. Like, seriously. You're not like, going to put them on. The, what's, that thing that, what's that um, plan that they put you on in banking in the UK? Uh, performance <laughs> plan. Performance evaluation plan. Bro, no performance evaluation. First three weeks, you can't do it. No, 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 no. And I've had people, like, I want to shout out to Joy. We don't work together mm. right now. Mm. But I've had people who, in a month, they're just speeding mm-hmm. and where they are right now you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. so I'm like nah 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 nah. I have way too much money I, I, it's to me I feel those people have money who mm-hmm. everyone who just doesn't do the work mm-hmm. I feel you are rich bro because mm-hmm. you, you got, no, but the truth yeah. of the matter is I mean let me ask you this what drives you because I get asked this a lot Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm actually obviously a very driven person. Yeah. And so I would love to know what actually drives you? Um, to have options of engaging activities. That's what drives me. In English. Um, so basically <laughs> I wake up and make money and do what I do because I have to eat, I have to pay rent, etc. Okay. There's a point, there's a number I've given myself that I think is, I think I mentioned it to you, about 150 recurring mm. MRR. So that's not revenue, that's profit. Nice. Which means probably I need to hit a million to 1.5 revenue to mm. get 150 in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Mm, right? Once I'm there, you're making 20 to 50k a week. You now have options to do what is engaging to you. Mm-hmm. I love filmmaking. Mm. Okay. I love design, but what I call dem- democratized design. I'll mm. give you a specific example. I went to Red and Greens with my girlfriend and we went to get like minced meat. By the what's way, Red, and Greens? Yeah, Red and Greens is a spot in Lecky where you can get like literally the best meat. Really? Oh, really? You can get, okay. Space, okay. You can get oh, everything there. Red and Greens. What, cooked or not cooked? Not cooked. Oh, okay. Cooked. okay. Like just... Steak, so if you, want to, if you want to whack up a nice meal for oh. a gal on Valentine's Day, you red go and to Red greens. and Greens. I'm yeah? telling you, I'm right, telling you, no. quality <laughs> meat, quality meat. So I, I go there with my girl and shout out Tara. She 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 told me about the place, and um, I cook a lot by the way. But so <laughs> chef. Chef yeah, Paul, bro. Bro, so, so, <laughs> you, you wear the you wear the apron and everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> so so um, I find Teal's Pizza. 
Right, you guys might not know Teal's Pizza, but nah. it's, it's a frozen pizza that I've been seeing on Instagram, and it's it's dope. I was like, shit, frozen pizza. Where is it made? Is it like Nigeria? Nigeria? Locally sourced ingredients, everything's made. And the guy just freezes them and sells them in the markets. Yeah, no, no, in in the in reds and greens. Oh, right? so he sells you get it there. It there. Yeah, it's got it's got, a, got little a little spot there. Okay, okay, cool. Little spot there, and my man's my man's pizza is amazing, bro. Really, it is. Like, I'm like, geez, this is good pizza, mm -hmm. right? If I, I don't have enough money, if I told my man, give me a million naira every month to do your content, he would look at me like, what? Crazy. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy, yeah, right? right? Yeah. But if I was making the money that I'm making, it's an engaging activity for me to go to Teals and say, hey, I'll make you a deal, right? Mm -hmm. Just give me 5% on every pizza, 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about anything. I'll do your logo. I'll do your content. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's engaging to I me. I wouldn't mind cutting you something like that. You, you know get what I'm saying? <laughs> but where is the money going to come from, we'll though? Just to start doing yeah, that right now. We'll talk about this after. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because right now we need to be on that. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's like an engaging activity. Mm -hmm. I could take that shop and like, other spots that I like mm -hmm. and then spend six months you wouldn't pay me anything just trying to boost it up and we will go far mm -hmm. right and then it will get to a point where maybe I start to get bored and I go meet him and say hey this is the cost to keep this running where it's at let's just pay it out and then we pay that cost I leave that project and then I might want to do a film mm -hmm. right so the, the option to have engaging activities Things that you want me, to do that yeah. I want to do is you. what drives me interesting what drives you, know? you? freedom man that's what yeah. free man <laughs> What well, yeah. I mean by freedom, because you got to define freedom. Freedom yeah. means like, like I don't want to wake up any day and just be like, oh my god, like I have to do this thing because mm. like it's kind of critical. I want to like have planned it and have some things taken care of. So by the time I wake up, I'm like, okay, it's very similar to what you yeah. said. Like, what, what idea am I thinking about today? Like, how can I? Because I'm I, I like creative stuff, events stuff, creating mm -hmm. ideas. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, how can I like implement this idea that came to my mind? Mm -hmm. And like, let let me see the idea in the world. That is for me that kind of kind hmm. of yeah. Yeah. What do you what would you say, yes? Um what drives me is my brothers primarily. Um kind of family. Just, there's some people I just want to make sure that they don't have any financial issues. Mm. Yeah. And the Mercedes uh, GLS 600 AMG. What were you AMG now, yeah? <laughs> wait, 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 are you going for the Maybach now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You left the GLE? No, the GLE, yeah. I'll manage that one for you. I'll get the 63S. I'll manage that thing. 2023, 2023. I'll still manage that one. But that Bro, GLS, yeah. I have to see that. The minute I have a child, that GLS 600, even the 800, I don't mind. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. So, um, yeah, what drives me is... Uh, uh, it's not cliche because I actually am wired this way. I, I'm really, I like nice things. And once yeah. I like nice things, it's like my body. Like anytime I go shopping, I'm like, oh, I like that. It always ends up being the most expensive thing. <laughs> so I need to be able to afford myself and afford some certain people close to me. I need to make sure mm. that they don't have financial issues. So that's once, once, that's, once I'm there, do, I would love to see, do I keep going like mm. most people do? Do I keep moving the, the, the goalpost or do I actually relax? I'd be interested to see that, but mm. I'm not. I'm not there yet. So. Interesting. You know, it just um, this reminds me of um, the saying that men are more interested in things and women are more interested in people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, oh, it's yeah, true. Because I said yeah. my brothers and my dad. Yeah, my brothers and my dad are my drivers. Yeah, mm. and like one of, one or two friends. And after that, um, really, it's it's myself. But then yeah. you see like the GLE, so you're balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's driving me every day is like, you know, getting a luxury apartment, you know, in BI yeah. and the GLE, you know, white, you know, I'll put some oh, gold gold white. trims. I'm even going to like... Cream interior. Yeah, yeah. Cream, how do you know? Cream know interior. Cream, it's always cream interior. And yeah. I'm, oh my gosh. And there's somewhere in America that like even upgrade your interior, that like even add extra lights. You know, Mercedes really? has incredible lighting aside. Yeah. So um, anyways, I'm going to keep talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, Paul, so, yeah. nice to meet you. Unless nice. you got some dilemma or questions I, 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 the, the, um, not today but the only thing we should end with is still what doctor always asks our guests yeah. um, which is if you're the president of Nigeria what would you do differently hmm that's a good question Paul the president of Nigeria I could see it well, so nice to I would be I slightly <laughs> tyrannical if I was the president you'd be tyrannical be yeah because that's what I think you need to do you need to have Vlad Tepesh level of tyranny <laughs> really? to be able to make things happen in this country. I think. Man called Vlad, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, like I'm telling you, bro. Spikes and everything in the fucking right. front of the yard and everything. Like that's what you need. But the first thing to do 
it's just pour every single cent you have into education. Yeah. Really? You got to get people to know what's happening, to know the game. Because the reality of the world is, do, do you guys know Larry Fink? Any of you? No, no, I don't know Larry Fink. You should. You don't know Larry, Larry Finch. Larry Fink, F I N K. No, I don't know. Mm-mm. Larry Fink, no? Mm-mm. So the reality Larry Fink is CEO of BlackRock. You know BlackRock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Black Rock. You know BlackRock. Yeah. You know Vanguard. You know Fidelity Investment. Mm-hmm. Those are the companies that control the money flows. That's yeah. the reality of life, right? It's a money based game, mm-hmm. right? You go from zero, level zero, and right now there's a level 16, which is mm. like 100 trillion, right? Mm. That's how I see it. You have to tell people that, yo, this is the game, right? Because I see the world like a video game. And education is the number one way to let people at least know that this is the game. Mm. And then it's up to them to kind of... Because like I said, not everyone would make the sacrifice, but not everyone knows. I will disagree. Okay. So, depending on what, how you look at life, politics, and, and philosophy, but I feel like if everybody's educated, it will cause chaos. Why do you think so? Because there will be no structure because people will think independently. Mm. Right? Now, that could cause chaos. Right? And there's a reason why yeah. society is designed in a certain way and, and, and there's a, a decent level of peace in life. Interesting. <laughs> in some ways, because of certain structures that are being put together. Right? Yeah. Now, what I would say is that the level of education should increase. The kind of quality of education should increase. Yeah. But I wouldn't say that everybody should be exposed to a high level of education. Yeah, but... I think education should... Like, high level of education should still be... um, should still be... It should be, still be a criteria to get access to high level of education. Mm-hmm. I think... Okay, it's like this, right? And I, I don't... I wouldn't agree with you because I want people to have access to it. Here's the thing. Even in the US right now, there's still people in high school that are not learning mm. a single damn thing. Let us have the education at the level of an American high school somewhere in the sticks. Okay, I, yeah. That's Do you get fine. where I'm coming that's, that's from? Fine. Let that sense, option yeah. be that. That was all I'll put my money into. Yeah, and fine. then if everyone is educated, it's still an intention. Like, if I'm educated and you're educated and I go do the business and you sleep at home, it doesn't matter if you're educated. Mm. That's how I think it will, that's what I think will stop the chaos. The people who decide not to do anything. Mm. People today are, are going to decide to binge Netflix all night. I'm going to decide mm. to just learn shit. Stack that over a year. And I'm like, You're miles. Ahead, I think yeah. that's really the separator, mm. right? I think if you, if you let people, if you give people the opportunity, bro, no, people don't want to stress, man. Mm. Like, honestly, give them... A, I've, I've been in Ghana and a guy told me that kinky fish... And eggs. It's all he needs. It's all he needs in a day. <laughs> hey, hey! If you taste kinky and fish when you're starving, bro, I can understand. Guy, like, it's some good shit. You're right. I'm saying, but it's like I can't. I can't judge somebody like that negatively because at the same time, I don't think there's any right and wrong. Who says what I'm doing is right and what he's doing is wrong? Hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Who says what he's doing is right and me being obsessively so obsessive about making money is what's right. Exactly. So I don't judge that. I just think I what I hate is when people come and they complain and I know you haven't. So you never hear me complaining. If people are like, oh my God, I'm broke, it, it pisses me off because mm. I'm like, yo, you haven't read one book in five years. Mm. You haven't completed an actual book. Show me notes like, of a book you've like, studied. How, how am I going to think about getting a book when I, I could barely even find food today? Yeah, here's, let, let me blow your mind. Right, so my, the house I live in, Lecky Phase One, we've got security guards. Right, <clears throat> they've all got techno phones, they've all got internet. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have. But they're betting. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> no let me even learn. So, <laughs> Naira Bet. Naira Bet. Why am I even shouting out Naira Bet? Bet Naija. Bet Naija. Simba Bet. <laughs> you know, like, the list goes on. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm in my like all I because I work remotely. I see these guys outside my window. He's been up. He was up when I was up. Cool. Yeah, you, you got up early. But my man just sits in the outside the gate yeah, all day doing fuck all. Bro, that's a decision. Why didn't you come uh, and meet me? No, no, no. Think about it think like that's this. A decision. No, 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 no. I think it's a decision. I, I think I it's a decision. decision. Let, let me, let me. Where one... do they know where the, where the, if they didn't have the information to know where the books to read God is. bless you. Like, I believe they don't have the information, but I believe in their soul. Like, 
how you know to run away from danger. You know, you should know like you know what to do. Oh yeah, I kind of get his point. I agree. With, I, I agree. Get with his point. I, I get that. I point. You know what that, 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 that subconscious man telling you, he's telling you, guy. I suppose don't learn this thing. If I came to come and meet Paul and mm. say, bro, I see you get internet. I did beg you, I won't learn how to program. Mm-hmm. I would have been like, yo, really? Yeah. You know you can learn it on your phone with yes. Code Academy, Facts. right? And he's got hours. If he sat and spent three of those. Every single day mm. for the Facts. next year. My man is in a position to earn two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars dollars $4,000 a month. Mm-hmm. But would he do it? Mm. It's painful. I it's very it. painful. I agree with him. I had, there was you one know? driver. It's... I had every time I left the car, he was just sleeping. I said, sleep. Go and read the book. I said to him, can you, do you not have books to read? Can you not read a book? Can you not educate yourself? He switched up. He switched up. I got, I got, it was my friend's driver. They said, this guy switched up now because of you. <laughs> no, seriously, because like, yeah. honestly, you have to, you have to, everybody has a decision to make. You know, you even see, even, even within the same family, each child has different drives. Mm, yeah. So that's why I always ask what really drives you because some people, even at the lowest level in poverty, they're not driven to change the circumstance. They want kinky yeah. and fish that day. That's it. Good point. It was such a Anyways, pleasure to have you on. Nice to have you. Really good Thank guests. So yeah, and uh, so. yeah, hopefully, uh, tell us more about your Let's, let's sort out some deals off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. All, All right. right. Thank you. Have, see you guys next week. Next week. Bye. Should be fun. Hey, guys. We've got some good news for you today. Fantastic news. Yes. I can't wait. We've been hearing everything you've been saying mm-hmm. and we've settled down over here and now we are proud to announce the IMB concierge service. Whoop. Yeah. So our concierge service really would help you guys to support you with any problem you have in Nigeria. If you want to start up a business, you need some research done, IMB is here to help you. If you want your properties to be checked up on, we can also support you with that. Just anything you need. What are the things that IMB Concierge Service can do? Personal shopping. Woo! You know, if you've got real estate investments, you need someone to check. Have you got a shop here that you're managing from abroad? We can go and check it out for you. Do you want us to buy you a gift? There's so many things that we can do because we know it's so hard to find people to trust from abroad. That's true. And you can reach the IMB service on yes. our WhatsApp number, yes. which is plus 234-904-549. 9846.